So, they lied to us, y'all. Um, this one is not gonna be an exciting guide video today, but they had lied to us. Oh my god. They had lied to us. This is a video I kind of didn't want to make, and I'm just making it because I've, I've been spending all day rambling on and playing this Pokemon DLC, making content and stuff like that for the channel, which I enjoy doing. I enjoy playing the Pokemon, but boy, this is just terrible. Like, when I mean, like, just stopping and terrible, I mean, it's just terrible. And there's no reason for it. There's no Pokemon here. It's not like... There's a lot of Pokemon spawning in for it to be this way. And I, I just don't know what it is. It's like, yes, there's a uh, cluster of Pokemon sometimes I pop in. But most of the time, it's just be one, two. And I just be running. And then it just, it just will be too much for the Nintendo Switch or for the game to just comprehend what's going on. And it was just, it just stops. As you can see, and if you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. It, I, I guess I'm trying to make it happen f for the um, sense of this video, but I could plug in a ton of clips of where it just happens all the time during normal gameplay. I'll be shiny hunting, grinding BBQs, doing synchronized stuff, and it just will always happen. There will always be a stutter or a hiccup that will just pop into the game. And... I feel kind of let down because this was promised to be something that they were going to tackle within a patch in the future. They say, hey, we hear our concerns. The game is broken. We understand. We're going to fix it in the future. And it's been almost, we're getting around almost a, a, a year and so out from the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to the point where we have two full DLCs out now. We have the epilogue about to come out. Pokemon Home integration, Pokemon Home integration with the DLCs have to come out. So it's not that there's been a lack of updates to the game. There has been a ton of updates, but lacking in the performance department 100%. And it's just, disappointing especially with the promise that was from the pokemon company as well as nintendo stating that hey they were going to fix it to make performance run better on the nintendo switch now a lot of people are betting that that performance patch is going to be kind of bundled in as a side effect with the nintendo switch 2 however even if that is the case, it's still disappointing that we're over a year out and the game still runs like dog shit. Literally, like dog shit. Ever since launch, this game has been having issues with, you know, from from pop-ins, from, from lag, from just not running at 30 to this, just stuttering and just stopping completely to the point it, it, it does break my immersion a lot and does that make the game less fun like sometimes but i just wish we weren't look <laughs> i just wish we weren't dealing with these issues and it's like there's there's not a lot going on for it to be like causing this and it makes me worry. It makes me worry so much about where we're going in the future with um, these Pokemon games. Because I understand they want to do this open world Pokemon, you know, adventure style, choose your own adventure. It's great. I loved it. You know, literally got three different campaigns in one game, if you technically counting each story. And then they added on, you know, two more technically, if we're counting the DLC, three more technically so th the game is jam-packed with stuff to do jam-packed with pokemon but at what cost it's like if we have to play a game and it's just you know i'm not saying even looking the best but you got other third-party games on the switch that look better than this you have that are just as diverse just as complicated as a pokemon game 
on the Nintendo Switch running looking better than this. And then on top of that, over a year after a release, we do still don't see a patch for performance. It, it hurts. If this was any other video game company, the, the, the pitchforks will be out. The, the buildings would have been burned down. The, the game would have been delisted. Like, we've seen that with Cyberpunk. We've seen that with, um, with like, No Man's Sky a couple years back. But now, when Pokemon does it, no one bats an eye. And it, uh, it's... Granted, I love these games. And I play these games every day. So, I know. But, there's just a certain things that I just wish were just better about these games. And... Unfortunately, it's just not gonna get any better. And it, I do feel, as a person, again, who plays this game every day, I feel super disappointed in the Pokemon Company and Nintendo. We're kind of lying. Because there was a time when the game came out and then the game felt trash. I played through the story and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait into the performance patch, come back in and complete my Pokedex. I stopped playing for a couple of days and then I came back because I wanted to, you know, finish the Pokedex. And I was just having the same issue over and over and over and over again. And I feel like after a year of waiting, we should have that performance patch. And it just hurts that we don't. I'm just rambling at this point. Let me know what you think about not having a performance patch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and do you think we're ever gonna get one? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always guys, I answer all comments. I'm sorry this video was kind of like loomy, ranty, and, and not in the positive of moods, but I do feel like it's important to also put out these videos just as well as the guides and you know me being excited to play a Pokemon game that's Kind of my dream Pokemon game. Open world Pokemon, yeah. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the videos in to recommend this so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Leave me alone! Leave me alone, please! Your mama!